Miss Cowell, I'm sorry we didn't meet you sooner. We were lost in our work. This is an exciting time. But where are my manners? This is Darina Fanai, a fellow archaeologist. Nice meeting you both. It's good to meet you finally. I've heard a lot about your work. We were trying to identify the age of the artifacts, but we're having some trouble with the scanner. Could you give us a hand? <sighs> Time to get to work. New objective. Find out how the scanner works and study the artifacts. Machine key. The panel is locked. Okay, using the key. Screwdriver. Can activate the scanner with the right chemical mixture. Track down the proper chemicals and find some gloves in order to make the scanner mixture. So I need a list. I broke the lock, but just break in. We need those chemicals to do the scanning. The right piece has shattered the glass. The right page? <laughs> uh, I want you to scream really loud right now. <laughs> I need a woman scream. Gramophone handle. So we still need a oh screwdriver. Aha. Uh -huh. So this makes that stationary. Now a gramophone puzzle. How does it work? Adjust the lever so the melody plays at normal speed and pitch. Select the handle to try a combination. Adjust the levers. So it does have many different different spots. Many possibilities. That sounds pretty good already. Oh, too fast. The pitch is also different. Oh, there we go, done! So we're using a pitchfork to break the glass. Arthur Nok. Arthur Novak. <laughs> and that's Rick Rogers, guys. He may prove very useful, but I need to see if he really has these abilities or not. I'm sorry Rick Rogers was too busy to join our expedition. And these artifacts are bound to have magical powers. I don't think I can figure them out without his paranormal abilities. Well, I'll try to convince him to join us. And until then, we should focus on the scientific research. So he had Rick Rogers in mind from the get-go. But unfortunately, Rick wasn't available in the beginning. The right pitch? Yep. Now we have... Um, that's not the clue. I need a list of chemicals. Where can I find one? Okay, use the notes here. The chemicals! Yes. And also a whole bunch of artifacts. So, one, two, and three. Also have the other settings. So put in the orb and the tablets. And the chemical. 
into this opening. Huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to do something here first, guys. We have to combine them into one mixture. We have to do it inside this cubicle. Chemical mixture. The settings. It doesn't say. Uh, oh, maybe pony struck down. Okay, pony struck down is what we need. Or, or not. Okay, I don't know what number we need. Can we just take a guess? Three. One. One and four. Okay, it's analyzing them now. 200 years BC! Wow. Excellent. This proves that this is older than any previous find. Yes, indeed. But we should all get some rest before we continue. Cloudy minds make mistakes. I'll take the magic globe home to study, and we can compare data tomorrow. They have no clue what these artifacts really are. Maybe I should follow Darina and show what they can do. New objective, follow Darina and set a trap for her. And while Darina is in garage, I need to find a good hiding spot. Huh? <laughs> we just closed the garage. Uh, so we're gonna hide behind the bushes? When the arena will look away, I can get uh, I can get closer to the window. When the arena look away, closer to the window. Look away. The security camera. The window. The window. Huh? Window. What window? What are we talking about here? None of the windows work. The window! That particular window! <laughs> on the left. The branches are blocking the view. I should move them. This is heck weird, guys. And good, there she is. She's holding the globe. It gives me the opportunity to strike. Opportunity to strike? With the sword? <laughs> it was really foolish of them to not recognize the true artifact's power. It's okay, I'm gonna show her. What do you have in mind anyway, Rachel? Show her, show her the power, then what? You want to seize the artifact? You want to steal it from her? Foolish. A joker. Power. Hey, what's the object for power? Fuse box. <laughs> Alright, it says the globe is used by the Guardians of the Trials to watch over our world. It has magical abilities. Guardians? Guardians? What do they look like? And watch. <laughs> Almost click on the hint, guys, because that is a watch. But maybe a pair of eyes? Watch. 
Huh? There's supposed to be a symbol in here. The eye? Right here. Oh. What about guardians? Guardians? Which one looks like a guardian? It's probably a face. A shield. Oh. It is time to use a spell to activate the glow's powers and see what it really does. Time. And spell. Magical spell. Time. Do we have a clock face? A watch? Time. Hourglass. Oh! The Sandman! Rick proved himself worthy. I knew taking over his body would give me a chance. I must have scared him. But it needed to happen. I wouldn't have hurt him. Something magical happened when I translated the ancient plate. My mind traveled to ancient runes. It's the first step on the path to all knowledge. <sighs> wow, new objective. Look around and learn more about something. <laughs> this place is really something else. I should take a look around. So now we got the second part of the bonus chapter. We're no longer in the prequel. So this is almost near the end game. Is someone or something hiding in there? Bar relief has begun to crumble away. We do have two figurines. But I need to place them on something else, maybe the stand? The pedestal? Yes, three figurines. Almost got crushed. So, but a bar relief pot <laughs> fell from the sky, <laughs> from the ceiling. I mean, should play some kind of sphere here before I do anything dangerous. That's a a floor puzzle, a floor tile puzzle. Aha! Another figurine. Is that the orb? Yeah, stone sphere. And I think this is the clue. So that will help us get across. Alright, time for another puzzle! Make your way safely across the board to reach the eye. The clue shows the correct order and number of times you step on each symbol. So this is a sequence. Four... Four, followed by... which one? And then the triangle at the end. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, hold on. So the last spot is like this. Yeah, let's walk backwards here. 
One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. One, two, three, four. And then the triangle three times. Actually, no, I <laughs> forgot. One, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. The all-seeing eye. That sounds very powerful.